If you play American style Mahjong and find that you second guess yourself during the Charleston, that can be a bit disconcerting. If you have a set at home, you can practice decision making with Charleston Chain Reaction. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, that way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Charleston chain reaction. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. Let's just say we're the dealer for this exercise. I'll get 14 random tiles and create a mock Charleston. I just went through all these tiles to make sure there were no jokers in there because we need to recreate all this after we go through this one time. Let's see what we can do with this first attempt. Let's take a photo before we go any further because we need to recreate this. So there's the first photo. As far as where to start, I personally like to start with multiples. I think that for American style, this is a game of multiples. So I'm going to look at the sixes and the dragons here and see if I can make anything for these. I'm thinking maybe we could do something consecutive. Maybe um, consecutive around the sixes with the dragons. If I'm playing consecutive, I'm going to keep four numbers in a range around the multiples. So I'm thinking six, seven, eight, nine, and we have tiles that we can pass. That's a bit of a risky pass though. I think I would give something up. Let's break that up a little bit and pass these three. I'm going to take a picture of that now. And let's see what we got here. Here's an eight, a five, and a four. Four, five, six with opposite dragons. That's kind of what I had in mind. This would build around all the multiples. So let's see if we can come up with a pass here. Right there. Let's pass that. We'll take a photo of that. We got another multiple here, six, seven, eight, and we have tiles we can pass. So we don't have to pick, we're in between. Let's take a pass and take a photo. All right, I am not gonna pass flower. They are very valuable and I will pass them very rarely. So, we're in between. I think I'll give up the seven. Let's pass those three. Oh no, wrong way. Oh, that happens though. That's why this is good practice. So let's go ahead and continue along. We'll pass those three. Let's take a photo of that. Now we have a pair of flowers here and a white dragon. We do have a, a pair here and we could break that apart. Let's pass one blind. There's the seven again. Let's stick with it. Let's just go ahead and pass those three after I take a photo. Oh, the eight came back. Okay, 
So this was pretty bad. We have no gaps, which is good, and Joker bait. Four discards and Joker bait. Really, six discards. That's, that's not so good. I'm thinking that probably consecutive six, seven, eight, nine would have been much better. Let's go through again with the same starting point in Charleston and see if six, seven, eight, nine or six, seven, eight with dragons would have been a better result. That's what we started out with. I'm gonna make the Charleston now. Okay, let's see what happens this time. Maybe we should even play two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Hold this for joker bait. I try not to pass dragons. Let's pass these three. Okay, we got a four and an eight. and we have tiles we can pass. Looks like two, four, six, eight is coming in. There's an eight and we have tiles we can pass. There's a flower and we have tiles we can pass. We really don't need this eight crack. If we're gonna play one suit, there's no gaps. Let's pass these three. Let's pass these three. Actually, this is where six, seven, eight with dragons, we have four, eight versus four, nine. Let's go ahead and give these up. Oop. Let's do it, these three. We'll keep the seven. Okay, there's another flower, white dragon. Let's pass these three. That's a bit risky with that two crack and red dragon. White dragon, that's good joker bait. Let's pass these three for optional cross. Okay, we've got tiles to pass. Three discards with joker bait, five. I believe the last result we had six discards, including joker bait. But here I think we have a much stronger starting point for the pick and discard phase of the game. Two flowers, two, four, six, eight. We need another flower and an eight dot or a joker, and we could be set for the first hand under two, four, six, eight. This was definitely a better way to go. And maybe even the six, seven, eight with opposite dragons consecutive hand, that might've even been a good, a good hand to play. Let's do it. Let's see if we can force that hand and see what the results would be. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. So six, seven, opposite dragons, six, seven, eight, opposite dragons. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, let's hold those. I really don't want to pass two, four with east and west. So let's go ahead and break that up and pass these three. OK, 
Okay, there's the eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at there's even another hand consecutive. Let's go ahead and give up these three. There's an eight and a flower, and we have tiles we can pass. Flower, two tiles to pass. We have to make a choice. So we have two flowers, six, seven, eight, nine, five, let's see, six, gosh, if we had jokers, I'd try to play a quint with all these flowers and all. Let's keep those and give up on the nine. There's a seven. We have tiles to pass. We have tiles to pass, but I'm not going to pass that white dragon. We have to make a choice. Six, seven, eight with opposite dragons. I think I would pass one blind. Okay, now I would be tempted maybe to play all dragons. Look at all these tiles here, though. I don't think this really came in any better, even though it looked like it might have been strong. I would have asked for one tile for the optional cross. And to tell you the truth, if someone wanted one tile, I would say, never mind. I think I'm okay with what I have. So this particular choice left two pair of joker bait, five discards, including the dragons and flowers. I think probably the 2468 hand was the strongest of the three. Let me know what you think about those. Would you have done something different? If you would, write it in the comment section. I think this is a really great exercise. It's amazing how all these tiles could be used so differently and everyone sees something a little different. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell. That way you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Chain Reaction for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.